Judge sentenced to 28 years of prison for selling black teens to prisons. Oh darn, if only there was somebody who knew about the law to be able to understand how this is wrong. Jeez, that would be weird. If only there was somebody who had good judgment to see how this is wrong. Oh wait. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash I am a total POS because the earth sucks and we all just need to restart over. And if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, sure you support and see another video like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below if you have not already subscribe and turn on notifications all right let go i can't post this on reddit as my partner is a reddit fiend but a tldr am i the butthole for telling my partner that he can get out of bed early he just doesn't so my husband and i have a two-year-old who wakes up early but gets left in his room until 11 a.m because my partner doesn't want to get out of bed any earlier. I work full time while he looks after our son. I usually get up at 4 a.m. after staying up until midnight with my partner. He works one day a week, usually from around 3 p.m. until 8 on my day off. He says that he physically cannot get up any earlier because he is not a morning person, while I think he just don't want to. I feel bad that my son is left in a dark room with nothing to amuse him from about 7 a.m. when he wakes up until 11 a.m. when he gets out of his cot. So I asked my husband to start getting up at 9 a.m. Apparently, this is impossible. I have been sitting on this annoyed for several days as my husband doesn't want to talk about this and says it's a real thing that he is incapable. I wake up at 4 a.m. absolutely exhausted, literally falling asleep on my feet and even while cycling the nine miles to work every day, I get up because I have no choice. I tell him if he had a real job, then he would have to, whether he wanted to or not, or he still says he wouldn't be able to. So, AITA for not taking his seriously and being annoyed that I'm expected to, even though I often feel incapable while he gets to sit in bed. You know, normally when I see these kind of things, the person that types them is the butthole, but this one is actually kind of, actually right. Right, yeah. At first when I was looking at the job the guy was doing, I was thinking maybe it's like security guard where it's like a graveyard shift and he isn't able to wake up in the morning, but nope, 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. That, that's, um, you can wake up in the morning. Like, it's kind of messed up that you're this lazy, you don't want to work only except for one day a week, and the other six days a week you aren't able to take care of a kid in the morning when you both agreed that to have the kid, which in itself is its own job as a parent. Kids aren't like easy bake ovens, you can't just set them and forget them. Florida woman, of course, accused of urinating in an ice cream machine. As much as I want to make a snow cone joke or something of the sort, the, I, I don't feel like I'd be able to do that without dry heaving. Florida, why did you turn into the state that makes Baltimore look good? Stop copying my tattoos. I've already said it millions of times, but it seems like some of you don't get my words properly. It's already the second time that I see here on Instagram that two persons have my exact tattoo compass tattooed. Oh wait, no, tattooed. You don't get that for me. It's highly disrespectful. I have said that you can take my tattoos as inspiration. Never said that you could freely copy them. For me, they have a deep meaning, and it kind of hurts me seeing people basically stealing my own idea. And now, basically every tattoo artist knows that every single tattoo should be unique. Really, you don't know how to spell the word unique, you dunce. And never be the same as another one, just for respect. Here's the thing, if you're going to complain about something being unique, learn to spell the word unique first. And I know for a fact that Instagram does not have a character limit to how much you can type. You're just stupid. Secondly, are you really trying to copyright a compass? Jeez, those have been around for a little while longer than you. Just, you know, just a smidge longer. And for anybody wanting to get a tattoo, I'm fairly certain that there isn't any type of copyright law for them. Like, I've, I've honestly considered getting the Bungie Destiny Siva symbol and the Dinklebot tattooed. Uh, but you don't see me fearing Bungie coming after my butt. Because being down to be forced to wear a mask is the first step in your country becoming like China. Remember, in most countries, this began as a 14-day lockdown in between February and April 2020 
2020. Look at where we are now. Mask mandates, vaccine passports, stay-at-home orders, evening clock restrictions, and on and on. Learn from history. Yeah, this word's coming from the dude who's the reason that the whole that sign can't stop me because I can't read me. Miss Wise words from Sir Tinfoil Hat. When you live in Oregon and your governor has scared everyone into mandating masks for safety, yet nothing is being cleaned, everyone touches the same stuff, and everyone just wears the mask. Be the person that everyone else wants to be. Be the one that stands up. Be the reason someone else becomes brave and removes their mask too. We live in a free country. We had men and women die for our freedom, only to be taken away from us because of a virus that has a 99% survival rate. Hashtag I will not comply. America. Anybody that says this will obviously very much preach it as long as they live until their relatives don't. Because obviously anybody that says this has the brain capacity of a Lego brick. Because it doesn't matter until it hits home. Then it's a big issue. If you're bored on Valentine's Day, go up to random couples in restaurants and say, who the F is she? Or, you know, don't. And just because nobody loves you doesn't mean you get to start stuff with other people. Like seriously, you have absolutely nothing else to do. No video games, no streaming services, no internet connection, so you think this is a good idea. Why? Why though? Why don't you go take your big ass code Lyoko look at forehead and be stupid somewhere else? Trade school is a joke. Go to a real college like a university or a private college. Trade school is for people that had less than a 2.5 GPA in high school. Trade school is not an actual education after high school. Ah, this is definitely the bright-minded person you would trust with something hot enough to fuse metal. I know Reddit is full of not only just dropout losers, but also poor people. I know people that aren't wealthy and fortunate as I am, but they still manage to put themselves through college by financial aid, loans, and scholarships. I would never let my children date someone that went to trade school and plugs metal together for a living. That's embarrassing and you're a disgrace to the family name. Dating a doctor, a lawyer, surgeon is something to be proud of, not dropping out of high school to play with medals. If you have a desire to become a welder, that's laughable because it's sad. You might as well be a single teen mom working at a McDonald's drive through part-time. Oh, and what job do you have? Because you have to actually haven't really specified that. Because what exactly is your job, and why does that deserve to put yourself on a pedestal above others for some weird reason. Man jailed for 28 years after a woman dreamed that he art her is set to be freed. 28 years that this guy will never get back just because some lady dreamed that it happened. Also, I'm looking in the comments now and it seems like some people did more research into this and it looks like the cops denied his own alibi and that's more so the reason why he was sentenced to 28 years, which is absolutely messed up. Woman allegedly attacks a Staples customer who asked her to wear a mask properly. Yeah, it, it's stupid stuff like this that makes me so glad that my work offers the masks for anybody that forgets them right up at the front door so they're very hard to miss. And honestly, we're a year into this thing and people still can't understand how to wear a face mask properly. Basically, if carbon dioxide comes out of it, cover it. You're not wearing a helmet, dummy. Don't wear it like a chin strap. Cover your face holes. And don't even start griping to the employees about having to wear a mask. These people have to wear it hours on end. Meanwhile, you can just walk outside and you can take it off. And I'm legitimately sick and tired of people getting gripey and uppity about having to wear the mask correctly. And then we also have people that just straight up pull it down completely while, while they're talking. For some reason, they think it is like a soundproof booth there. And then, yeah, I just treat them like they're a walking corpse or something. Like, I stand as far back as I can and try to avoid all contact with them whatsoever. Like, not even lying. If you're not wearing it correctly, I will definitely do everything I can to portray body language as if you are from another earth and I do not want to be anywhere near you. Plus, in also other news of wearing masks, for some reason they made an exemption for little kids and I never really understood that since aren't they more susceptible to diseases than adults? It's just something I never really understood and I have people coming in with like three or four kids all not wearing masks, just running around the store, coughing, getting a 
right next to the glass and then just touching everything. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see another video like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and lastly, if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye-bye.